What is up guys, this is John aka Pokemon and today I'm bringing you the second playoff match of the semi-finals of the D-League, the first season of the D-League and this time it is Adam of the Mighty Ducklets versus Miguel of the Real Marill and as always my awesome co-host, the amazing, wonderful Cooper, hey I go guys I kind of screwed you because I know you wanted to say your intro I... It's okay. I, it's all good. It's all good. I'm excited for this. It's, it should be a great battle. Now, we have the best team in the league versus uh, the you know the person we all thought was going to be the best player in the league coming out of the tournament. So, Miguel right now is 7-1, and one, undefeated when he actually is awake, and you know he did lose that one time he fell asleep. So, not, technically, he's not undefeated, but he still has not been beaten by anyone in the GBA. And, undefeated in regulation. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Adam was undefeated in the tournament, had a really good draft, and he's made it to the playoffs. He is the number four seed, but he still had, you know, a really, really good season and a lot of really quality wins. And I'm pretty sure he only lost to the best players. And one of them was Miguel. But in that battle, uh, it was, you know, Miguel played incredibly, but Adam really, he, kind of, he made a big boo-boo in the beginning, losing his win condition within, like, the first... I think he lost it by turn two or three, so... I don't expect Adam to make that same mistake, and let's go over the team. So, once again, you see Miguel is bringing the Gothitelle as he did in the first matchup when he was able to trap that with the Mammal Swine. He's got the Greninja, which is, is it the MVP of the league? I don't know. I well, I guess we'll look at the stats at the end, but, I mean, it got four kills three weeks in a row, or at least it was averaging four kills a week. That thing is incredible. Everybody knows that. Kanye's back. You're doing Kanye. He's got the Bisharp. He just brought the power, the Bisharp, the Landorus, and the Machamp. So I, Can't just, forget Machamo. No, you cannot forget Machamo. Machamo and Kanye West. Two staples of this team. It's kind of a it's a classic Miguel team. You know, I've you've seen those six all season. I think the only other thing he's used pretty regularly that I can think of is the Mega Mawile, maybe instead of something. Hey, you can't forget about Motto Motto. And, well, yeah, that is very true. That is very Who, true. Uh, according to Miguel, is the real MVP of the team. Well, huh. Maybe it's a... Uh, maybe he should have brought it this week instead of that Machamp, which... Machamp or Machamo, it's it's like my favorite mod, but by, by this time, I remember him telling me after uh, he fell asleep and he lost that game, he's like, Machamo really didn't do it for me and made me so sad because I, I really thought Machamo could be great in the GBA and maybe it could just, you know, it... It just didn't fit on this team, but hopefully it can do some work this game. But looking at Adam's team, the Anaheim Mighty Ducklets, we see Magnazone, Heatran, Venusaur, Vaporeon, Thunderous, and Mamoswine. The Mamoswine, I can only imagine, is going to be preserved, unlike last game. That just, Absolutely. That was, a, uh, that was a disaster. And, you know, looking at the key matchups, I'm guessing... Miguel brought the Gothitelle to try to clear the way for Greninja to clean up again. I it just seeing those two together once again, I can only imagine that's the plan. I don't think Gothitelle would be there for any other reason than taking out the Mamoswine. And I'm pretty sure um, <clears throat> the Gothitelle is also there to take down the Vaporeon because the Vaporeon is the only real counter Adam has for the Greninja. Yeah, indeed, it's kind of what Greninja's been on. All season long, just mop up duty, kind of wears stuff down, and then Greninja pops off a couple kills and rockets up to MVP race. Yes, it does. The heat, the Venusaur, though, the Mega Venusaur could probably tank some hits from Greninja, and Gothitelle can trap it and kill it, so I think Gothitelle is going to be really big for this match. It looks like it can take out a lot of things on Adam's team, but Adam does have the double Volt Switchers with uh, Magnazone and Thunderous Therian, so he can get out of those situations with the Gothitelle, but uh, Miguel does have the Lando, so, you know, depending on the predictions, he could play around that, but that could get pretty risky. I don't know. It's pretty interesting to see. Um, beyond that, I, I think we should just really look out for the, the Mamoswine, and uh, see, the Mamoswine and Vaporeon, how long Adam can keep those around, it's like the Mamoswine really hurts Miguel's team, and the Greninja really hurts uh, Adam's team, so whoever can take out the thing stopping those two from sweeping, which I think would be Alamomola and before the two fat water things, is... Uh, gonna... Yeah, the controversial picks. Yeah, the controversial picks. And then Mr. Picks. Irrelevant. Yep. Ugh. 
Okay, so let's start the battle up and let's get into it. Thank you, Miguel, for uh, recording this battle. It's really nice. Uh, he got the nice live battle for us, unlike the other battle, those two scrubs. So, uh, ooh, okay, so it looks like um, Miguel's going to lead off with Greninja, and Adam is leading off with the Magnazone. Okay, so this is, it, it's, it's kind of a... Kind of an interesting choice from Adam. I didn't expect to see the Magnazone. Definitely a great thing on his part, but... Yeah, maybe uh, we got an HP ground from Greninja here. It would be helpful against uh, Zone and Heatran. Yes, it would. It would not surprise me at all. And I have to wonder, is the Magnazone scarfed? And does Scarf Magnazone? I would imagine it would outspeed Greninja. I don't know. Ooh! I know that... Ooh. We see the, the Greninja switching out. What is that Greninja going to go in? No, it goes for the U-turn. Gets that really unnecessary crit, and what is it going to switch out into the Landorus? The flat. Oh Landorus. my god. The... Oh no, okay. Oh, that's dead. That is a dead. Oh, oh, that must be analytic. That is a turn one dead Landorus. That's Wow, huge. and now Adam is free to volt switch as much as he wants. That's big. That's really, really big. Now, Gothitelle can come in, and it, but it can't trap either of those things. Well, I mean, depending on. Uh, ooh. There, there is the Gothitelle right now, and mm -hmm. depending on, as I was about to say, depending on the um, Magnusone set, he could be locked into Flash Cannon, and um, he could be screwed. Yeah, so, based on that big power, it's probably Specs. Yeah, I would imagine. Wow, that's a, that's a really genius. I, I, I'm wow, I really like that. That first turn, go with a really strong move. Just try to get a lot of damage on something and take something out. It's too risky to go into Alamola on that play, so. He can't go into that fearing the Electrotype moves, so going for the Flash Cannon, that's just a great prediction. And Miguel loses a big member. I, I'm really curious of what um, Miguel has on this Gothitelle. Because you said maybe the Greninja has Hidden Power Ground, but maybe it is the Gothitelle. I guess we're going to have to find out. Yeah. Okay, so it's going to go. Yep. Hidden Power. Yep, there it is. There is the HP Ground. So we are two turns in, and there are two deaths. Already a slugfest. Okay. Thunderous yep, just takes it out, so... Thunderous is coming Might in be... now. Yeah. yeah, it's probably going to be choice locked into HP ground, so... Oh. That would not be surprising. And now that the Landorus is out of the way, Thunderous Therian can Volt switch around willy-nilly, mm -hmm. which should be pretty good. Okay. I wonder... I, I'm guessing Miguel will probably go into his Machamo. I, that's been AV most of the season. That... Yeah, it seems to be his... Really the only thing left in the team that can remotely take... A Volt Switch. Yeah, and that could be pretty bad, you know, if that Machamo gets too low. If it, I mean, if it is a Salt Vest, it's not going to be able to heal up. Maybe Alamul can wish into it, but wishing in this format is a lot diff more difficult. But he does switch into the Machamo. It takes, a you know, a, probably like a third. And um, what is Adam going to switch into now? Hmm. Okay, oh, it looks... Okay, so he's going to bring in the Venusaur. There's the Mega Venusaur. This thing is a bitch to take down, and I do not think Machamo will be the thing to take down Venusaur. No, I can't imagine it's gonna be, it's just too much bulk. Snap there, fighting is obviously not an option. No, there's no moves that Machamo can really go for against this Mega Venusaur. Okay. So I, I wonder what Machamo, uh, oh, oh, okay, he leaves it in, huh. I, I didn't, well, I guess he didn't want anything else to go to sleep, but the sleep pad are putting the Machamo to sleep, so. Yeah, I mean, I guess you'd always stand and go for deep punch and confusion on there. Yeah, that's very true. And he might have missed the sleep powder. It is only 75 accuracy, so. Mm -hmm. I mean, it does definitely make sense. I, I just wonder what else he what I This is just something he needs for the. Um, there, I guess now it can be Volt Switch Powder. No, I think that was the best play. It, you know, it's, it's kind of hard just to think what should he do looking at, like, I can't see. All, I'm trying to figure it out. I don't I don't see the entire team. Okay, okay. Let's see what he's going to do. Uh, just Sludge Bomb on the Machamp. Okay. That is, does a yes. good another third damage. So Machamp almost dead. I wonder. He's definitely going to switch out because you, you definitely want to have the Death Fodder. There's no reason to leave it in because you could just Sleep Fodder. You, you want the Death Fodder and you want the Sleep Fodder at this point. So Yeah, it looks like that Machamp is still high enough that it's going to have to be a Sludge Bomb. It yeah. comes in if it wants to take it out. So Adam's not going to have the chance to get any... Any sneaky hidden powers or anything off? No, he's he's pretty fo he's pretty much forced to go for the sludge bomb. As much as he probably wants to predict something like the Bisharp, there's no reason not to go for the sludge bomb. But at the same time, I don't think Miguel's not gonna. I, I, he's just gonna have to switch out, and he does make the switch. And what is he gonna go into? Ah, he yeah, does. There's go the Bisharp. Bisharp, nice, and he takes that sludge bomb. That's a really good play on his part. I like that. 
Okay, so now I wonder what is Adam going to do? So, you know, he got out predicted once. Is he going to make the prediction that he's going to switch out and go for the Sludge Bomb? Or is he going to go for, as you said, a possible cheeky hidden power? Or maybe just a you know, Giga Drain so it's, yeah, at least it will do damage to it. And if he brings something in, it'll do damage. Yeah, this Mega Venusaur is still pretty healthy, and Miss Sharp, I don't think, can one-shot it, so it should be pretty safe to kind of do whatever. Yeah, it seems like it might be an offensive Mega Venusaur, too, with the damage it was doing to that Machamo. I mean, maybe mm -hmm. Machamo wasn't AV, but I didn't see any leftovers. Maybe it was choice. I don't really know, but okay. So, Miguel makes another switch into the Gothitelle, and Ooh. now the Mega Venusaur is trapped. Ooh. That's, this could be one thing down so that Greninja will be just a little bit closer from cleaning up uh, or Adam's team, that is. Okay, wow. Yeah, so this is a Scarf Gothitelle, we'll be able to outspeed. Otherwise, he's probably gonna have to take a hit. Yeah, he probably will have to take a hit. Well, th that's the thing. Now we're gonna find out, is the Machamp AV or is it Choice and um, it just the Venusaur is more of a defensive set, maybe with some attack and I don't know. I. I don't know what kind of Mega Venusaur this is. It's definitely going to be interesting. And okay, there's the turnout. The Mega Venusaur outspeeds, goes for the Sludge Ball. That's doing a lot of damage. And it's a crit! Oh, what? oh shit! No way. No Gothitelle way. is down. Wow. That probably would have lived that without that crit, you got to think, right? I would imagine. God, there's Well, there's no way. M Miguel, is, he would never have left it in if it. Wow. No, yeah, absolutely. Wow. There's, yeah, no, uh, I, we, we know Miguel, and Miguel definitely would not have made that play if, you know, there was even a chance it would have killed, because Gothitelle was so important to his team. Wow, that is... Wow, that's a huge play. Wow. Spec Psychic, and that that's going to be a dead Mega Venusaur. Yeah, I wow. can only imagine. I, I, we don't have the Calyx in front of us, but again, he wouldn't have left it in if it wouldn't have... That's, wow, that is crazy. That's a heartbreaker right there. That really is. Wow. Okay, that is, I, we're going to probably have to wait for Miguel for a little bit to make his next move. I can only imagine he is heartbroken. That is, wow. But he can still come back. He still has Greninja. He's just going to have to find a new way to take out the Vapor, and it might be pretty difficult, but, you know, he's still got a few things left on his team. Oh, man. All right, so it looks like Miguel is dropping in Greninja. Yep, okay. Greninja now, and now Greninja definitely can take out this Mega Venusaur. It will, and if Greninja can take out the Mega Venusaur, that would be really big. The Mega Venusaur does have a lot of health left, though, so mm -hmm. uh, we'll see. Okay, so we see the extra sensory. Ooh, it barely doesn't kill. And there's a Sludge mm. Bomb. I think that's going to kill it. Uh, oh. Ooh, that does a lot. Wow. That wow. is that. Oh, another crit, and that would have been dead. That would have been. That would have been bad. <laughs> that would have been bad. Damn. So many powerful things just almost dead on Michael's team. That is, that's crazy. But the Mega Venusaur is almost dead. So that's pretty good for Miguel's side. It's got, it's got to be something to be positive about that you can almost take out one of the uh, biggest walls. And now he's switching out to his other wall that he needs to get rid of for Greninja to do anything. The only problem is Greninja can't take any hits now, so he's going to have to wear down Adam's team with the rest of his mons to even get anything. As we see, Extra Sense really does, you know, maybe like a fifth of damage to this Vaporeon. Mm -hmm. Vaporeon, oh my god, that thing's so bulky. I don't, I have no idea how Miguel's going to get around that. Okay. Uh, yeah, looking at what he's got left, there's just Gothitelle's gone, Landorus is gone, uh, Machamp's asleep, so. Yeah. Not much left. He does have the Bisharp, though. You get a sword stand up, maybe he can still sweep the team. Okay. Uh, that's still possible, yeah. Goes for the U turn. It does like the same amount of damage as Extra Sensory, and he is going into Bisharp on the Scald? Ooh. Ooh. That is beyond ballsy. That does, like, oh, over half. That is a lot of damage. Wow. Low burn, though. Yeah, I I don't I don't agree with that play at all. I really feel like he should have gone into maybe the Alamomola or the Machamp. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you can go into Kanye. I, I guess if Porion's not really a threat to set up, maybe it could pass a wish off to yeah. the uh, Mega Venusaur, though. That would be pretty, pretty heartbreaking. That is very true. I mean, yeah, at this point, maybe he wanted to get the offensive pressure. It's just if he had gotten the Scald, I think it would just... I mean, if he would gotten the Burn, it might have just been game over, and that would have been terrible. 
Okay, I wonder what he's gonna do. I cannot imagine that Adam will leave in the uh, Venus. I mean, leave in the Vaporeon because he's still really, really worried about getting swept by that Greninja. And if he lets this Bisharp kill it, maybe it's abandoned uh, Bisharp. That would probably kill with a knockoff. And okay, he is gonna go for the switch. He goes in the Heatran, and there is the knockoff. Nice. It goes. It does over half. So okay. Huh. This is a this is a big play for Miguel. I don't know what he's gonna do here, cause he could try and go for the Sword Stance to go offensive, but if he loses the Bisharp, that would be you know he'd just kind of lose. And uh, <laughs> you know when you you set up an SD on something that can kill you one shot with a super effective move. Yeah, it's, it's not the best. It's not the best. So I'm guessing we're gonna see him go into Alamomola. Because, I mean, it's a Heatran, that would just make sense. And Elmol can definitely deal with this thing. Maybe even, yeah, if it has Waterfall, do some pretty good damage. Okay, so he is going to switch, and he does go in Kanye. Kanye. Ah, there's this the late rocks. game rocks. Mm. Huh, that's odd. Yeah, Greninja's pretty low, right? So, yeah, no, I... I could be a free Greninja kill right there. If that is a free Greninja kill, I think he clinches the game, possibly. Mm -hmm. I don't know if, um... Miguel is going to be able to come back because at that point Adam can just start sacking off things trying to kill off the Bisharp and just making sure he doesn't have an opportunity to set up a sword stance and he's going to win the game so we're definitely going to have to see if uh, stealth rocks are going to kill it okay wow and the Heatran goes for the Dark Pulse wow I did not expect to see Dark Pulse Heatran well resisting both stabs so oh healing wish Ooh. oh oh no Okay, what is he gonna? Oh, he's gonna go to the grid. Is that gonna? No, oh my God, it's gonna go up, up to yeah, full. Yeah, it's gonna get back to full. Wow. This, this is a game again, folks. Miguel has a chance. He definitely has a chance. Greninja is the thing that cleaned up at. I think I got like four kills last time he played him. So he plays his cards right. Maybe it can work again. I think I understand. I think he wanted to. Oh, I know why he stayed in the Goth Hotel. He was gonna try to healing wish that thing later. Oh yeah, try to reuse it basically. I, I I'm guessing. I, I guess we'll find out later, but he probably wanted to do that so then he could you know, he's trapping the Venusaur, hopefully he could trap the Vaporeon or even trap the Mamble Swine later and that would just help him. Wow. That crit I mean we said it before but that crit mattered so much. But let's see what Miguel does now. He has you know his new life with the Greninja. And he's gonna go for a U turn. Okay. And he brings out Ooh. Machamo. Ooh. Lava Plume, yeah, that is one dead Machamo. Yeah, poor Machamo. Didn't do anything like Didn't get to do usual. anything. Oh, well. I haven't seen many battles when Machamo did much. Didn't Machamo get... Yeah, didn't it, like, wasn't it, like, a, a flamethrower burn last time he played Adam or something? Yeah, flamethrower. I think that might have... Uh, I think that might have been it, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, poor Machamo. Not Lava Plume, just a flamethrower. Yeah, okay, so there is the Bisharp. Bisharp drops in, all right. Okay, okay. And um, let's see what they're gonna do here. Hmm. It it looks like there there's not much, not much he can do except maybe I don't know. Yeah, I, th I think he's gonna he's either gonna go for knockoff or the sucker punch. Probably sucker punch at this point. I don't think the um, Heatran has any non-attacking moves they could go for. Maybe he'll go for the sword stance, trying to get a little cheeky. But I I'd imagine the sucker punch. The only problem is he still has Mammo Thunderous. He still has a pretty full health base point. It's it's not looking too okay. So there is a sucker punch, dead Heatran. So at dead least that's Heatran. one thing gone. And there's the Mammo. Ugh. Oh, there's your guy. There's my guy. Let's see, Mammo. What you gonna do? Maybe I mean this could be a sashed Mammo. Maybe that could that could definitely do. So I mean that would definitely work against the Gothitel if he had planned against it. So let's see what's gonna happen. There's the Earthquake. He yeah, outspeeds. No There's no Sucker Punch. That's a dead Bisharp. And Adam has, or Adam, Miguel has one more thing, which is the Earth, uh, the Earthquake, which is the Greninja. I'm so excited for the Earthquake. Yeah, this is a Scarf Swine that's going to be outspeeding Ninja, too. Yes, it will be. I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if he brought Scarf Swine, because last time he wasn't able to deal with the Gothitel, but, um, hmm. If it's not Scarf Swine, Greninja does have a chance, maybe with a few crits, to sweep the rest of his team. It's going to be interesting, and there's the play. And the Mammoth Swine outspeeds and goes for the Earthquake. 
And, and it's gone. Wow. That wow. is the game. Miguel taking his first loss in the GBA. On the field, on the field no more. Wow. Wow. Nigh perfect regular season and then just heartbreak wow. here in the first round of the playoffs. You saw it here first. Wow. Miguel is down. Wow. Well, that was that was a that was a hell of a battle. That that one crate kind of unfortunate. It seems like it took away what could have been such like such a better battle, like a really close battle, but that was a really good uh, game by Adam. He really, really stepped it up from the last time he played. But I have to give Miguel credit. He really did bring a good team for Adam. It's it just seems so risky with the Gothitel. Like it looks like the like the plan just crumbled after that went down and uh, wow, that sucked. That crit, that crit was so huge man so it does look like it is gonna be adam versus sam the mighty Adam Douglas. versus sam sino conference reigning supreme oh wow wait yeah yeah they were in the same conference okay wow mm -hmm. the two favorite guys going down in the first round this this really has been a crazy playoffs and man considering all four of them are my friend it, 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 i can't say it is nice to see the underdogs win you know, when you just take away who won this and that, who it even is, just two underdogs in the championship, that's pretty exciting. Not anything anyone expected. Yeah, I mean, no one thought, even knew who Adam was prior to the D-League no. turning up. Yeah, I, I don't think anyone expected Miguel to lose in the playoffs at all, let alone the first round. And Man, this it was a hell of a season for him, though. I have to tip my hat. I mean, he went 7-0. He went he beat every single person he went against and you know there is something to be said that this battle did happen in the um in the holidays and i know miguel didn't have much time but damn congrats to adam that was a great game man i'm excited to see you in the championship and if you guys did enjoy this video please leave a like also go check out both coaches channels both of them just were um i guess you could say promoted to the gba both of them will be in the gba season three and um you know Miguel might be done in the D League at least for ooh, in the playoffs, but he will be in season three. So you can still follow him there and see if he can get a perfect season there. And Adam's got one more battle before you get to see him in the GBA. So maybe he can win it all. Maybe he can be the first D League champion, or maybe it will be Sam. As always, thank you, Cooper, for uh, commentating alongside with me. And, um, you know, thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace. Peace. Later days.